Hi, I'm Marissa Dubois. In the last year, I've been working on variable rate shading tier one, also known as VRS. I'm going to tell you about the benefits you can get for your game, some use cases we've looked at, and what we've been experimenting with in Chivalry 2. VRS is a more targeted solution than dynamic resolution rendering, which is rendering to a smaller render target, then upscaling to the final display resolution as done for many console titles today. We can show that VRS retains higher quality than an equivalent render scale due to the edge preservation features of variable rate shading. VRS Tier 1 has been integrated into Unreal Engine, and we've done an early integration with Chivalry 2. Working with Tripwire and Torn Banner, we plan to introduce a use case we call Relaxed Mode Plus. This is a feature where the movement of the player or the rotation of the camera reduces the shading rate during G-Buffer laydown, but reverts to VRS one by one when the player is not in motion. In terms of performance, dynamic resolution rendering can still be a better choice in some scenarios. However, you can use variable rate shading to strategically target bottlenecks without impacting the quality of the whole frame. Variable rate shading opens a world of possibilities for performance savings and rendering techniques on Intel processors with Iris Plus graphics. Whether it's fine-tuning graphics performance by targeting individual render passes or a more sophisticated material-based approach, the options are almost limitless. Integrating variable rate shading into your game allows you to precisely target the GPU on the pixels that matter the most. To learn more about VRS, follow the links provided. Thanks for watching.